Try to do set up to give more of an enter not entertaining, just nicer. So you can see what I'm doing with both hands. Uh, first of all, I got this tape from obviously Sticker Mule, and I'm actually pretty impressed. I mean, I ordered a sample and the full giant roll, which I don't know why I was expecting it to be smaller, but that's huge. Oh my god, that's probably like gonna last me a while. Not a bad thing though. Um, I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, uh, I got the sample because I had like $10 in credits to use, so that's why I have the small one here. And I'm glad I had this extra cardboard to test it out. I did not expect this blue sponge to look like that when it was done. That's pretty awesome in my opinion. I think that's cool. And testing it out was really easy. I don't know how I'm going to do this when I have actual orders yet. I haven't figured that out. Um, but this, I'm glad I was able to test it. So the reason I did two strips on the cardboard, I wanted to see how much water was needed to make it really sticky. And this side, I didn't use a lot of water. And as you can see, it comes off pretty easy, right? So obviously we don't want that. And when I redid it down here, you can see it's much harder to pull. So on the other side, I used much more water, like it was getting sticky on my hands, that's how much water it was, I was using, and it was much harder to peel off. So that's a good thing. 
now how <laughs> I'm going to be doing this for a giant roll, I don't know yet. Uh, I'll figure something out. There are machines that can do it for you, both automatic and manual. So I might look into that since I'm already looking into a label printer as well. Um, yeah, I didn't expect to do all this so early in the year, but because things have... Uh, I got excited with the, with the tissue paper, like, might as well do tape, you know, and they had a deal and... Well, they did have a deal, but I didn't get to use it because I was too slow. But I was still able to use $10 off because I have a credit. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm happy. I have to figure out where to store this, though, because I'm not using it right now. Um, it's, it's a grayish purple. It's not as purpley on this camera. I don't know if it'll reflect that. Let me just put this in the natural light. Alright, I don't know if you can see this, because now I'm blind by the sun. But this is how it looks. The color. A little peeper. I have a giant roll of this. This is like 300 feet. I don't know why I thought 300 feet would be much smaller. Um, so, yeah, but it turned out wonderful. Let's see. Looks good to me. You can't really see that the lines are purple, but, uh, they are, they're dark purple. Yeah, I'm excited. As you can see, my pots of emptiness. So sad. All right, so that's my test for the sticker mule packing tape. Oh, and before I forget, I totally forgot about this too. It's paper. It's paper with fiberglass um, strings in it, just like Amazon uses. And if you didn't know already, it is recyclable. So this whole thing, if, if I'm able to do this right, the box and the tape can be recycled if you get something from me. I, I still have plastic mailers and, and bubble wrap I'm using, but if you are in an area that recycles curbside, this can be thrown in there. So, just just a little extra something, you know. Might as well try and use resources that are renewable. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I have no idea where I'm going to store this now. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys can see this. So I got my pins in today for my Kickstarter. I have the Holy Gourd and the Grumpkin. So cute. I'm actually really happy. I'm honestly I'm surprised at how well the gold one came out because I always read that other metals are problematic. <laughs> like there's always issues, but these are flawless. I'm like, oh, okay. Looks good, you know. And then I got the grumpkin. He's beautiful. This is the same metal as the first baby pumpkin that I made. And then on the back. And then this one, I put it too high, so it's not very centered, but yeah. And then, oh, let me see if you can see here. Uh, no. Let me actually unhook a pin and I'll show you. Okay, so you see that little peg there? So I didn't know, oops. There we go. I didn't know they were going to do this, which is fine. But basically that peg is just to give it an extra like um, grip when you pin it to stuff, which is nice. I didn't really expect it, but that way these guys won't spin freely or as freely, which I some people may appreciate. I like to spin them though. <laughs> They're just so fun. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to start with the early sprout rewards, which are 10, which are all grumpkin. So I'll be grading and assembling those tonight. And on top of that, I have Etsy orders for two or one, or two Etsy orders, and for um, both of them, it's one of these little planter guys. So I have a second one of that printing now. So I already can tell I'm going to be a little busy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get little by little uh, this week. And I'll probably just ship things out as they're ready. So early spreaders will. Have theirs assembled and ready to go first most likely depending on if I get all packaged tonight of course if I can't get them pet put together in their um, envelopes and they'll probably go out at the end of the week with anything else that's done so yeah I'm excited to get rolling on this 
So I'm gonna start grading them and putting them together. I feel like it's been like a gazillion years since I last recorded something, but um, all the Kickstarter rewards have gone out and I am free to take pictures of these guys for um, Etsy. So I'm basically setting that up right now. Got my light box and I got some backdrop paper. I got the camera. I got all the pins right here. Looks nice, right? These are all the A grades. I haven't gone through all the holy gourds yet. But these are all the A grades left for the Grumpkin. And then... Yeah, I'll probably just reuse the photos for the, the seconds or the B grades. So I have plenty of those left. And yeah, I'm going to be going over that. And then after I take uh, these photos, I'll probably work on the edits tonight or tomorrow morning. And I will be setting up a video of, um, what did I call it before? I recommend the photo setup for products. Because I, I already have the photo box, so I might as well do that too. So, basically it's going to be where people recommend, Hey, you should take a picture of this item from your Etsy shop with this light box. But use, like, one of... These, I my hands in the way. There we go. 
one of these colored backdrops or something like that. I don't know. And then there's a monster here. Get out of there, Laura. Get out of there. You don't need to be in there. You don't need to be in the camera. She loves the camera. It's very photogenic. Huh. Oh. You photogenic? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take these photos and then um hopefully that'll go well. <laughs> uh whoops. Alright, so it is May 1st. And I have a little bit of a mess to clean up. I have a cat playing in paper. Oh, there you are. What's in there? Okay. Well, this is part of her toy. When we get shipments, sometimes we get all this paper and it becomes her toy. Anyway, um, so yeah, I guess I'll just wrap up like the month of April for the studio vlog. I have to redo my f my video for my photography challenge because I don't know what happened but the last bit didn't get recorded um, so I figured I'd just kind of share like the last thing of using this booklet which I brought up I think in the beginning of the month or something I don't remember when I think it was uh, in March it's kind of like what I did so basically the whole po point of this was to focus on like one specific project when for the most part I did pretty good I mean I didn't uh, get too much filled out because I got the Kickstarter rewards mid-month and I had that to focus on um, so like the last week I think it was I didn't last two weeks no the last week I didn't really do anything at all and um, that's okay I actually have extra pages. So the only downfall about this is it doesn't go, it goes like in a seven month, or seven month, a seven day um, cycle. But if the day starts in the middle of the week, like the first of the month starts on a Wednesday, you have to, it, it's just annoying. So it doesn't really f work the way I would kind of like it to, but it is what it is, not a big deal. So now we're in the month of May, I'm trying to figure out what to focus on for the month of May project wise I might just do more mermaid stuff because it's it's May now the mermaid month of May mermaid and normally I do participate in that for every day but I I don't have time to do that this year so I'm just gonna be doing maybe five drawings and I think I'll do that maybe once a week I just focus on doing one mermaid themed drawing or even just work on the washi tape or the pin I think that'll help so I have to fill that out today, figure out what I'm doing, and I did, um, the, how much time spent on task was kind of helpful. I guess I'll keep going with that, I don't know. I'm just trying to fill this up and, and get some use out of it. So, yeah. And then, I need to buy some boxes to put these pins in. The A grades, and then the B grades, and then the other pins I didn't put on backing cards. These are actually A grades. I was an idiot and didn't mark them. I didn't clean them well enough, and I'm like, okay, well, I got at the jewelry cloth in. There we go. I bought a huge pack of those, and they cleaned up much nicer with that than what I was using before. Both of which are valid cleaning methods. I just, you know, I've, I've gone through these pins like 10 times, but I just, it just, it is what it is. It's just how I am. And then these are just the rest of the uh, holy cores. I have to verify our A grades for the 10th time or B grades and get those on backing cards and call it a day. But I need to get a box for all this because I still have the baby pumpkin, which is in a box. In my computer room but I would like them to be together just to make it easier so yeah and that's it for the month of April that's that's really it thank you guys for watching the studio vlog I hope you enjoyed watching what I was doing this month um, I am enjoying this I do like the monthly format so uh, we'll see what can what I can do in May and um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a good one